This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level Zero NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. Hey everyone, welcome back to Kufgun. Kufgun. Spell that? Q F G one. Kufgun one. Sounds yeah. like the huffing of ether that you did in the previous episode has finally taken effect. <laughs> I don't know why, but I kept saying Kufka one. I couldn't put my finger on it, but I felt myself slipping away. Looking around, you get the feeling that this is not a very friendly place to be. It's the music. And the skulls. The music helps. I mean, the skulls are, are a whole thing. That too. little, that, that the, the hut itself looks pretty nice. The skulls on top of the fence have, an, have eerily glowing eye eyes. The large skull at the gate seems to stare vacantly at you. Baba Yaga does not welcome strangers. You have to deal with me before you can enter. Uh, tell me about this deal. <laughs> oh yeah, the skulls of glowing eyes. But me? No, I don't need lovely glowing eyes. Just open and close the gate. That's all I'm good for. But if you can give me a glowing gem for my eyes, well then uh, I might let you in the gate. We'll see. Is it a deal or isn't it? Come on. What are you, a kid? Yes. Are, you, are you a child? I can't even tell. I don't have eyes. The deal is made then. A glowing gem in exchange for an opportunity to see Baba Yaga herself. For the love of God, I'm just a FedEx guy. Why do you have to <laughs> be giving me this shit? Look, I need a gem. You place the glowing gem inside the school. I can see. I have eyes again. And he, yeah. Is that what you look like? Oh, God. Oh, well. <clears throat> have fun visiting Baba Yaga. And good luck. You're gonna need it. Let's bash a skull or two. I hope you can remember the rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> Hut of Brown, now sit down. Nice. <laughs> Bubble Yoga. Bubba Yaga. Bubba Yoga. I'm sorry, I'm moving my microphone. It's not going to be pretty. <gasps> hey, this is nice. <laughs> oh. Look, Pitts, we have a visitor. <laughs> oh, I had a whole thing there that I said. <laughs> Peace. Your body is frozen by the power of which spell. Well, there is. What shall we have? <laughs> <laughs> Hero sandwiches! I had something more horrible in mind. <laughs> okay. hmm. Ah, that's it. Frog legs fricassee. Now, how does that spell go? Let's see. Uh, hear me, O oh powers of cloth and mana. Turn now my guest into species called Rana. <laughs> And then that's spell from Erasmus, kids. Doesn't it look delicious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, into the pot. Be still! Critics. We can't all be gourmands, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, oh, soon to be supper. I don't suppose you'll have a name. Diggum. Diggum. <laughs> Dig them. <laughs> You'll try your best to croak out your name, or at least, uh, yeah. So you're the one who's been trying to be a hero around here. The only good hero is a dead hero, I always say. And I do have a need for a brave fool. 
Tell me, are you brave? Yes. You make little froggy sounds, trying your best to indicate your agreement. Well, if you're willing to do a small little titsy favor for me, I might reconsider having you for supper. I need the root of a mandrake plant that grows in the graveyard. Will you get it for me? Yes. Anything but frog legs fricassee, you think? You croak your agreement to the task. And I had my mouth watering for frog, I oh will. <laughs> hear what I say and hear me right. Mandrake must be pulled pr precisely midnight. This I tell you and this I say. Return with the root ere the break of next day. Hear what I say, and know that I don't lie. Bring back the root, or else you will die. The rhyming's unnecessary. I'll get your shit, okay? <laughs> okay, man. Now, shoo! <laughs> From a distance, you hear the witch in tone. Ooh. Ooh. I know, I, I understand what you're, you're saying here. Sorry. Would... Oops, I nearly forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me, O oh powers of man and more, more, more. Turn this fool back as he was before. More, more. <laughs> as you contemplate the occurrence of the last few minutes, you conclude that you'd better find her mandrake root. And fast. Well, that was the whole thing. What time is it? What time is it? Jeez, it's like mid morning. morning. God, we got a whole day to spend. Yeah, so we need to spend the day preparing uh, the a, an undead unguent, so that we can uh, survive the uh, the task that was laid before us. We have seventy nine silver coins. I think the unguent is just a, is just a cold hundred gold. So, oh, yeah, I don't think that we need. Specifically to get in the ingredients, but I, my memory's a little hazy about this part. So, are we gonna die? Mm. We still gonna die? Hostel <laughs> dead. <laughs> okay, we got some. We got some more questions for Glory. Yeah, let's let's have them. I'm just gonna be spending my time like making money and hopefully not dying to fucking goblins. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hypothetically speaking, if they made a quest for Glory movie, who would be your ideal cast? You don't have to cast every every character, but uh, and who would be your uh, your director? This is by the real sneakers, by the way. Asks this. Thank you, real sneakers, for the question. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, I would want it to be a '90s film. Um, okay. With uh, I think I think Ryan Philippi has clearly <laughs> been my uh, my my answer all along here. Um, you hear the bolt of come on in, and uh, you know. You know, what can I do for you this time? <laughs> Bird. Bird. Tell me about Unguent. Undead Unguent is used to drive off the minor undead such as Arby's or flirting spirits. It doesn't last long, so you better use it only when you're anticipating an encounter with such things. Really channeled her that time. <laughs> Price? I'm sorry, I don't I know anything about prices. I don't run a business here. I make and sell. Oh, and dead on one. Hundred silver. Hundred silvers. You got yeah. eighty six. So You'll never are make it. Fourteen short. Yes, you are. Okay, so uh, yeah, fantasy casting, uh, quest for glory, the movie. R Ryan Philippe, all German unknowns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the rest. Mm -hmm. See, I'm going to go in a slightly different direction with this. Um, I'm thinking circa 1986-87 this story really needs the canon film's Golan Globus treatment yes and what better actor to play in that treatment than Mr. Alex Winter Mr. Bill Pre S. Preston Esquire interesting interesting I thought you were going to go Dolph Lundgren who was a Golan Globus oh uh, damn staple. yeah <laughs> Maybe they could maybe they could fight for it or something, you know? I'm a hero, yeah. 
<laughs> I can't. I can't do it. Can't do a Dolph Lundgren accent. <laughs> uh, All right, we we have a bit of a uh, we have a, a health a issue, a dilemma. Yeah, a health dilemma. Now I can buy a health potion, but it costs forty silver, which means that we would go from needing sixteen or fourteen silver, fourteen to needing fifty four. Yes. However, we are going to have to fight things to get the coins. Yeah. And so, I don't think we're going to make it unless we have a healing potion. Yeah. So let's save. Yeah. Save the game. Um, one healing potion, and we're going to hopefully make enough gold back. Quentin Tarantino, to... Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> There you go. All right, and and I think we're gonna need once upon a time in Spielberg and Christoph Waltz is every other character. <laughs> I think that works. That's what I would say. Poison. Drink healing poison. Uh, Corinne does not uh, have a question, but she does say. Uh, that she was watching a show on Netflix called Blown Away, which is a competition for glass blowers, which is now a show. That's a thing. And uh, the furnace that they use to heat up their glass, it's called, they, they call them glory holes. And they mention, like, repeatedly the word glory holes without <laughs> any sort of <laughs> a sense of smirk. So, yeah. <laughs> Why did they call it that? That's, just, that's great. That's great. Um, okay, so uh, Julia mentioned that that we I, I was right that Daniel LaRusse's arc for Glory and Karate Kid wouldn't have happened had he had a sibling. So would you prefer to be a mentor role model to a non-Karate Kid Daniel LaRusso or vice versa? There you go. I don't know what non-karate kid Daniel Russo would be able to mentor me in. <laughs> uh, it sure as heck wasn't... Uh... Actually, you know what? I got to admit something here. Daniel Russo did a pretty good job of charming Allie on the beach. I got to admit yeah, that. He the moves. What? He's got some moves. Yeah, he's got some moves, right? Yeah, he used his little his soccer trick, his soccer ball trick. You know, you know that got it, and it, it, everything was fine until Johnny showed up. I don't know, man. Nah, everything was fine until Daniel showed up. <laughs> Look, man. You know, sometimes you're you gotta you gotta move. You know. It's actually interesting in Karate Kid to see how Daniel's mom's plans went to hell. <laughs> <laughs> she moved out there to be in, what, computers? And she ended up being a waitress? Mm -hmm. Not that there's anything wrong with waiting, for the record. But she moved out there to be in computers. And it just yeah, didn't... I mean, if that's not your... your you know, life goal right there. Though. Exactly, exactly. And, uh, and she was just taking that job in the meantime. But I don't know if she ever got into computers. That was not explained. What what happened there? What's going on? Do we know? Why she went into waiting instead of computers? Well, we know, we, we don't know why it failed. Actually, maybe we do. I can't remember the movie. She explains it very rapidly at one point. Why did she fail at computer programming and Richard Pryor succeeded so sensationally in Superman 3? Comes down to one thing. Talent. Yeah, it's the talent, talent. To, type, to, to type override <laughs> all security. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, the programming in the Superman 3 universe is way easier than it is in the Karate <laughs> Kid universe. It's all about talent. We're almost, we're almost back to where we were. Even. Yeah, there we go. 
so yeah, I short of breaking even. I think all of us would rather be mentors for a non karate kid Daniel Larusso. Uh, although he wouldn't be a karate kid if we taught him. The most he would be is he would uh, get on a non-existent internet and play yeah. video games. I would love to be a Terry Silver to a non karate kid Daniel LaRusso. But what would you teach him? <laughs> Guitar? I will, t- I will teach him to suffer. Suffer, <laughs> suffer, suffer. And when he's through suffering enough, then we'll start with the pain. <laughs> I can, I can, uh, you're the only person I know that remembers lines from Karate Kid 3. Well, thank you. <laughs> it's very impressive. I like it. As much as I've tried, it hasn't served me well in any other time in life other than this show. So No, no. But hey, it did eventually serve you well. Man, if it's a skill that you're that you know you've you've curated over time, cultivated, um, then why not use it? Even exactly. If only to entertain, you know, like thirty people. <laughs> It'll be it's way less than that. Not not everybody who watches this show is super into karate kid. But there's a there's 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 more than a few. There's more than a few. That's for sure. Oh, we're almost at a hundred. Almost. What time is it? Uh, midday. midday. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> I wasn't aware I was trying to escape. But hey, I guess just like I got the uh, the battle start thing at the exact same moment that I screen transitioned. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I remember back in the old days when I used to play this, it used to take forever to switch screens. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, it's a good thing that we're running on a modern computer that does that has no problem with uh, like memory and like loading times. It's instantaneous. I love it. Effectively. I, th- I can make it even faster. I have the game's cycles like uh, ramped down a bit because combat can get a little bit hairy if you're running the game too fast. Yeah, that's understandable. No, this is fine. Old Quest for Glory games, uh, Quest for Glory three of all of them was was particularly egregious in how it put a lot of sort of random events on the tick, and when your tick is like thousands of cycles a second, like um, yeah, it, it gets to be problematic. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll show you what I mean when we get to Quest for Glory 3, but it's pretty insane. When we get up to 100 silver, then we should we should stop. Yep, no, I agree. Oh, hey, yeah, wow, it's going to be this guy. It's going to be this guy. He got a little stab in. He did. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh no! Oh! <laughs> yes, we're good. All right, uh, so guys, please, please leave us more questions for Glory. And in case you haven't noticed, the questions just can be anything. <laughs> like, it doesn't have to be anything. Just, like, come on, anything. Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit. Run. You know what? I'm gonna run. Yeah, good call. Right ah. into him. Run. That was my brother. There we go. Oh! I probably could have taken him, but I didn't want to risk dying when I haven't saved in a while. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we should save. Yep, I will. Bum 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 bum. Wow. So yeah, more questions for Glory would be awesome. Uh, we love them. We love reading them. We love answering them. We love that more than you You love asking and listening to our answers, no doubt. So, please. Please. And it's not even close. It's not even close. Like, we love it that much. And and you, <laughs> you, you do it out of a sense of obligation, I'm sure. Just like watching this entire channel. No doubt. So please continue for our sake. Thanks, everybody. 
We, we really appreciate, we appreciate you. your patronage. We do. And your patronage is literally just asking us stupid questions. Yep. Which is awesome. It can't, costs you nothing. You can't beat that. Although, there may be more on that in the future. <laughs> you said moron. Moron. <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you next week. Until then, try to stay as happy and safe as you can in these weird goddamn times. Until then, this is Matt. I am Luke. Andrew. And we're wishing you a glorious day week. So sorry, I didn't have anything planned. God damn it's it. Okay. It was a good effort. Glass blowers use glory holes. Both kinds. <laughs> There's only they're used for both. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Bye, everybody. Bye. So many great takeaways. So many. <laughs> <laughs>